Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Campus Waterfowl Podcast. Uh presented by our gracious sponsors, Kent Cartridges, Spondu Firearms. I'm your host today, Kyle Barnes. First time this season. Uh was on it last year a couple times with Sam. But um guys, thanks for having us here at Penn State. Super excited um to cut this pod. First off, let's introduce ourselves starting down here. So I'm Sean. Uh I'm I, the uh, vice president for the DU chapter and uh, huge duck hunter. I've been duck hunting my whole life. I'm Jack. Uh, I'm the event planner for our DU chapter we just started. Uh, also, like Sean, I've been hunting uh, since I can remember. Uh, my name is Mato Fiorentino. Uh, good buddies with Sean here. Roommates with him now. Been the same thing, hunting, fishing for as long as I can remember. And it's... PA guy, PA guy, upstate, upstate New, New York. York. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And we're in the treehouse fraternity, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you guys are... Yeah, we're both brothers here. So it's treehouse, Tau Phi Delta, whatever you want to call it. Everyone just calls it treehouse because we're just kind of like a bunch of rednecks. So, <laughs> But um, we're only at Penn State. It's the only uh, outdoor-oriented fraternity in the nation that we know of. So it's pretty outdoor focused. You could just tell by the chapped room here. We have the goat mounts outside, moose, elk, mm-hmm. deer. Uh, we had a shark for a little bit. <laughs> That's no longer with us. But uh, yeah, it's just a little so bit. Is there a good backstory there? Uh, it just what well, we. It was just gone one day. <laughs> we just <laughs> legally, uh, legally can't talk about it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah it disappeared. The guy from upstate New York, Mr. Mafia. Yeah, yeah he he, uh, he made it disappear. I guess <laughs> yeah, 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 it was yeah, like yeah. a seven foot hammerhead shark. Too. Okay. It was sweet. Yeah. But good. And how many members or brothers or what's going on? We have 24 active brothers now. Uh, I think 11 live in the house, and we have uh, five dudes pledging. Sweet. And now walk me through grades again. Uh, so I'm a senior. senior. Yeah, we're all seniors. All seniors. All seniors. Yeah. yeah. Victory lap. He's, <laughs> that's the victory we lap. Gotta yeah. We got to do another semester. <laughs> yeah, we got to do one extra semester for one one class. You just want to hang out. I know. I just wanted to come back. You know, as a, a as a as a young post grad. As don't a, think you're as wrong. a yeah yeah. It's a one class on Wednesday at five p.m. One one class a week. So that means uh, hunt hunt, class hunt hunt, hunt. Yeah. And then uh, you're gonna get there. plenty of it in. Yeah. So. And what are we studying? Uh, I'm agricultural business management. Yep. I'm uh, forestry and ecosystem land management. I'm uh, wildlife and fisheries science with. A emphasis on wildlife, and but I want to go to dental school, so I'm in the yeah, application yeah. process with that now. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it's kind of weird, but yeah, yeah that's cool. wild. So Penn State's very ag based then as yeah. a whole school. And yeah, I know we've been talking we, about it, but for the, <coughs> for the purpose of the podcast, yeah. yeah. So it started off as the farmers' high school. Yes. So and then it basically started off as an agricultural school, and then built off from there. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was also it's a big uh, forestry school. Um, I went for the first two years of my college career. I went to Mon Alto, which is another Penn State branch campus, uh, which was it's the the fa- the father of forestry. Basically, um, it just all started there, and then with the College of Ag of Penn State, that's just what our main focus was. Uh, and Penn State, if anybody doesn't know, we have literally every barn you could think of on <laughs> campus. I mean, we have deer pens for deer research. We have pigs, uh, cows, sheep, horses. Everything. everything else. So like mm-hmm. and then study of turf grass, you have forestry, wildlife. And there's like a creamery. Yeah. We yeah. have a all of our like that's uh, pretty incredible. Ben and Jerry's is from there. <coughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Creamery is uh all from local and then we sell meats and cheeses that are all literally made in Penn State. Like I have a friend, uh he lives and works at the meats labs and they butcher everything and then package it and sell it. Mm-hmm. Uh really good. Delicious mm-hmm. actually. We so. also got our business school too really good finance program and our supply chains really good as well so, really yeah is that kind of what it's all known for yeah and yeah and engineering, engineering. like big it's a really engineering. well literally well it's a good school yeah. 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 anything yeah. anything in 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 penn state it's 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 huge and yeah. all, and it's good like yeah. uh we talked about it literally earlier in the car like <clears throat> you graduate with a penn state degree you tell somebody that you go to penn state they're almost like oh okay like come work for me <laughs> Or like mm-hmm. you, it's just big, big alumni network. Yeah, it, literally everybody Biggest in the country. Yeah, actually, mm-hmm. um, you could probably go anywhere in the world, and you say you go to Penn State, and somebody's gonna go. We are, mm-hmm. like, yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And and you guys, obviously, I mean, you've enjoyed your time here. And then Happy Valley is kind of like an interest, or 
Where, State College, yep. I guess. Yep, Happy Valley. State Ex- College. Explain that to me real quick. Happy Valley versus State College. It's, I don't know. It's kind of both at the same time. People interchange it. it they do interchange. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, Happy Valley. Just State a, yeah, like Happy okay. Valley is more like the whole valley. So like Belfont, yeah. we were today, would yeah. probably mm-hmm. be considered Happy Valley. That's Happy like, Valley too. It, yeah. It's. I think it's kind of just around the realms of like you're in State College, Penn State. Like everybody that's in the valley, Happy Valley is like. Mm-hmm. Die Hard, Penn State, go to football <laughs> games, have a great time. Like mm-hmm. we re- we call it Happy Valley because like it is a happy, literally Happy Valley. Like mm-hmm. you can't come here and and have a bad time. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. Whether you want to go do anything downtown or go around and see acres of of wildlife and go on hikes and go up to Mount Nittany or or go skiing on uh, Tussie Tussie Mountain. <laughs> like literally, is mm-hmm. there's so much to do around here. You can't be bored. Mm-hmm. Um, and is it kind of one of those things like? Because, you know, you got Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. Like, there's a lot of professional sports going on, too. But from a sports landscape, it feels like, at least, like, here in kind of central PA, like, Penn State's, like, That's the it. thing. Yeah. What's oh, the yeah. what's the stat you said? So, yeah. So, State College is – I they, they're, like, maybe top – like, lower top 10, like, top 20 biggest uh, city in the state. But on game days, they're number three behind Philly and Pittsburgh. Yeah, with all the people coming in tail with the people that come in here. Yeah. For oh yeah, and they fit a hundred and some thousand. So yeah, hundred and ten. Stadium right, yeah. is like for like a hundred and ten, but like last year during the whiteout, I think it was like a hundred and fifteen or something. I don't. I don't remember exactly what it was. One hundred and seventeen people. They were said were recorded. I don't know if it was through tickets sold <laughs> or something, but it literally gets popping. Mean, that's a mess of folks. And if you sit mm-hmm. in the in the bleachers on game day, you like, don't sit. You stand. You stand. Everything's Shaking. moving. Mm-hmm. Like the whole stadium is actually moving itself. Mm-hmm. Who so was the whiteout last year? Uh, what it was Auburn freshman year, then Minnesota, Iowa. It was we beat uh, Iowa thirty to nothing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah you're all yeah. yeah. The best part though about the games, in my opinion, is like like for the whiteout game, you still have like hundred and ten hey. or whatever. But the best part is outside the stadium, it's probably close to. <laughs> Hundred thousand. Okay, too. so it's a big because tailgate. Because people the come, tailgates. they come and tailgate. You know, they get there and fr- they get to State College on Friday, and mm-hmm. they they get in the RV, hang out. So you got a hundred thousand in the stadium, and then a hundred thousand outside the stadium. Unreal. And then you got going back to the sports, like you got Phillies fans, you got Eagles fans, you got Steelers fans. So any every weekend, there's just a huge influx of just every variation of sports fan mm-hmm. possible. And mm-hmm. not even gonna lie, like like whiteout games and big games. It like our it's like shut down. It, yeah. it starts to shut down. They literally like midweek, like mm-hmm. not even like, midweek. They start prepping on Mondays. Yeah. Nice. Like when we're yeah, going, to, a whole week when away. we're going to class. <laughs> I'm not literally not even kidding. We'll go to why, class. Why, why not? They're starting you to gotta get ready for the Hawks to come. They're in bringing in that. news crews. We're shutting down places. We're getting everything ready. And as soon as game day comes, like nobody's going to class on Fridays. <laughs> everybody's going Should three games. Monday. Monday. <laughs> and nobody's going to class on Monday. Yeah, take the next and it is a off. party. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's just, it's a lot of fun. And it, the atmosphere is crazy. Like you come it here definitely on game day. Like, I mean, there's that, there's that reel of like, or just a clip or whatever from years ago. Oh, the, the Michigan. Uh, Michigan. Yeah, yeah, when we stopped the clock. Um, or that was before <laughs> the flag. McCarthy. I can't remember who the quarterback was for them at the time. But. Yeah. Yeah, and like they couldn't. They that's couldn't real. Get the playoff. That's now. That's uh, to, our, to open the game. That's yeah. our theme. Which is just so nuts. That's our theme song for opening the game. We just play Mo Bamba, and everybody <laughs> gets loud, and it is loud. Really? Yeah. If you don't come out of the game with a headache, you did something wrong. Yeah. So like you have to like lose your voice. Yeah. And everything. And the yeah. bleachers are shaking because everyone's standing in the student section. So you know you're, you're standing. Everyone's <laughs> jumping and cheering. So the bleachers are rocking like this. Yeah. So you, it's like you're like surfing. surfing. You gotta have your balance. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you could tell who drank a little bit too much yeah. before the yeah. game. I'm sure it's a lot, of, a lot, of, it's, lot of kids. I'm sure it's plenty on. of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's bye week this week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then we're it. away next week. And yeah. then college game days, I think, going to come here because we're playing Ohio State. Yeah. That'll big, be a big one. That'll big, be huge. Yeah. Second, big, right? big game. November 2nd. It's November 2nd, primetime rut. Let's have a football game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now that makes sense. Yeah. We got to love it. So is that, uh, not to get too much off the topic, but we're talking about rut. Is that. Are y'all archery for rut? Uh, is there gun season? Yeah, archery, archery, archery only. Arch, oh well, yeah, archery season is from like what October. Well, it depends yeah. where you're at because oh, that's true. In it's, in like Pittsburgh and Philly, yeah. it opens for buck and doe second Saturday in September. Yeah, and runs like straight through to uh, yeah, what like bear season? Right? Literally straight, yeah, straight to bear season. But in our our parts are like. 4B, 5A, which is South Central and, and Central PA. We come in like the first week of October and then go the whole way until 
November like fifteenth, mid November is it's when like the week season. before Thanksgiving. Yeah, we a week goes out. And then a week, and we have a week off, and then the opening day of rifle comes in after Thanksgiving. Okay, so that's not bad. Yeah, so our prime time rut is anywhere from the first week of November to literally the last day of archery season. Mm -hmm. But it gets crazy uh, growing up, and I bet it was the same for you guys. Like when we were in high school, and like we would go have Thanksgiving break and then come back. The first day of rifle season is a Saturday. The Sunday hunting, we'll we'll probably talk about this later, isn't a thing in PA. Uh, except they gave us one Sunday or three Sundays out of the year, and one of them is that first weekend of rifle. But that Monday, it's shut down the whole state. Nobody's going to school. Nobody's doing nothing because ever such a religion here. Everybody's deer hunting on that first Monday. Or well, used, used to be. It was because that was like that used to be the first day. So yeah. like all like I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but the Monday after Thanksgiving, everyone would just have off because yeah. everyone would just go to deer camp and hunt yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So I mean, I, they, I don't know if schools are doing that now. I've been out of the game for a while, especially since they moved it to Saturday. But um, yeah, it's it's so the school it, itself gave oh them my yeah, school, like all my grade high, schools, yeah. high schools, everything. Yeah, they literally would just be like, yeah. "Yep, cancel school." No kidding. Yeah, and Those I went to like city school too. Yeah, and they'd still cancel. Yeah, in like where? What city? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. Sam, not us, right? And Iowa, I feel like we went back to school. <laughs> Never canceled for I us. mean, I'm not going to point any fingers, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, <coughs> PA. You don't have to work that hard in Iowa for a big buck, man. That's true. Oh, <laughs> shoot. I would beg to go. differ. I'd show you my camera. I'd beg to differ. But, um, yeah, no. So, kind of on that note, let's, uh, let's talk about – I want to talk about quickly. I know it's brand new, so I get that, you know, we're in the growing phase of it for sure. But first year, Ducks Unlimited chapter at Penn State. You guys both involved. You're not so so not not as much as they are, but not, a little not, bit. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. Um, talk to me about what was the process that kind of kick started wanting to start it, and then I know there's not a whole lot going on, but just like you know what we're trying to do and, and what the goal is before you guys move out and you know set up the next generation, I guess here. Yeah. So we had I forget her name, but she came in and talked to our ornithology class. Um, she's like a rep for Ducks Unlimited. Yeah. I she came and talked to us and I was like, that's awesome. And then there was another girl in the class as well, um, Brooke. And we were both going to start the Ducks Unlimited chapter at literally the same time. And the teacher was like, Hey Sean, like Brooke's also doing this. Like you should just like reach. So we ended up working together and, uh, that was last semester. And then this semester, so it was we, spring of 2020. Yeah, yeah it, was last, it was spring like, of 2020. January, we started getting the ball rolling. Yeah, they, January. Okay. it was Brooke and Sean both both reached out. And we have uh, NWTF is another club and one of like four collegiates. So it's not a, a like a scarce thing here that we're going to start a, a, another organization with, with hunting and wildlife. Sean and Brooke both reached out to a bunch of people. We got enough people on the board to get our the president, the treasurer, the event planner, and all that. So to start a club, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you have to have a certain you have to have officers, a certain amount of officers by a certain amount of time, and then you got to prove, um, you got to and, and for us you have to do a series of like um, they're like quizzes and and stuff online to start a club, like to prove that you guys can do it. Yeah, you'd mm -hmm. have like a constitution too. Yeah. You'd have a teacher sign sure, off and sure, say yeah, that sure. they were in charge of your club. So it was a process. So we started obviously in the spring, didn't do anything, um, just got it started. Just got it like certified and, and whatever. we were trying to do events, but it just was at the end of the year. Everybody had finals. It was just not working. So we did a couple of things. We did like yeah. uh, the, uh, line the line dance. Painted Brooke the, organized that. Yeah. yeah, you guys painted the decoys. I yeah. wasn't there for that. How was that? That was fun. I mean, I wasn't there, but there were some interesting looking mallard decoys. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think one was like red with a yellow head. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. 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 But uh, then we had a picnic. At, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spread. Big time confidence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like that farm duck. You just paint yeah. it all white and then all the mallards are going to come. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had a picnic at the end of the year, too. Uh, that was cool. Just like being able to like, talk to everyone and get yeah. everyone together before we all went off. Yeah. But um, this year we're doing a lot more. Um, Trying to do Mostly with the conservation efforts. Like, uh, wood duck boxes at Shavers Creek. Um, that's Penn State land, so a lot of like our classes are there for wildlife, and um, labs are there. So we've been doing um, wood duck boxes there, mallard nesting, um, just a lot of stuff like that. We were trying to do a Halloween activity, but that didn't really work out too well. 
but we're we're in the process of doing a lot more. What happened with that? It we just couldn't get in touch with like the barn and oh, stuff. Okay. It okay. just didn't work out. Sure, there was a timing logistics. Yeah. yeah, and then I think we're gonna try and do another line dancing. Um, That's a big thing around yeah. here. Uh, we do, like everybody loves it. It's kind of crazy. It's awesome. Like yeah, and it's uh it's a lot of fun. I mean, it raises money. We a lot of people do it for a lot of different different events. So uh, it's a lot of fun. We did it last year. Raised a couple hundred bucks. We're gonna do nice. it again. Decent um, turnout at all this stuff for you guys. I mean, you guys are pretty well connected. Yeah. In yeah. The fraternities and just in school so and stuff. So I that's imagine. the thing too. Like uh, a lot of the club members are not in the fraternity, but a lot are in the fraternity. Like yeah. I think we have him and I are in the club, and then I think it's eight or nine other members in the house that are part of the club. Okay. And then there's quite a few guys. Yeah, from in DTS as well. From my frat, a lot of the guys. Uh, we all just try to get each other to join. So it's a lot of the, uh, the frats, and then we uh, try to bring in people from the outside. Mm-hmm. Um, but then this year, we're also going to try to do a banquet and stuff like that, uh, try to work out, work out the logistics in that. On, and like, get, a spring banquet? Yeah, and get that rolling and, and try to get that through DU and, mm-hmm. and, and stuff like that. See, so, so at Iowa, we didn't have a DU chapter um, at all. When we were in college, I, they still don't. I think Iowa State does, but we never did. And then... As we've got more involved with the campus waterfowl brand and stuff, the banquets like blow my mind. Oh, with some <laughs> of the big ones, oh, yeah. like the money that they're raising just at colleges is Ridiculous. insane to me. I know, in like one night, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's an it's actually impressive. We're <laughs> gonna get there one day. Yeah, not, totally. Not, I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, yeah. do you think about it too? Like Penn State is one of the best places to do that. Yeah. Like going back to the Penn State thing, like. You can do this in other schools. Mm-hmm. Like Penn State has so many resources, you know. Resources in the alumni and, network, like all and that stuff. And so once you get like once you get that traction, you mm-hmm. just it'll just take right off. Yeah. There's so many kids here that like everything from whatever genre to whatever topic. So like this is one of the schools you could you can't do that at other places. You yeah, know? it would be just much Penn more State. difficult. Yeah. yeah. So I think like like what he just said, like we get the ball rolling on this, and it probably won't be while we're here, but it'll be uh, in the next few years. It'll get big. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it'll be a fun turnout, and it just, uh, like you said, get some traction, raise a lot of money for DU, mm-hmm. um, and kind of showcase like college and and uh, college kids that can raise money for conservation and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, no, I mean it's really cool. I mean it's a ton of work. I know it's a ton of work, um, just with with doing anything at at at, at a university at like a official level. There's so many for lack of a better term, like loops to jump through huh. and there's red tape and everything yeah. else. So um, I guess that's just hats off to you guys. Like it's an impressive endeavor to undertake and you guys are moving quickly on it and it's going well. So um, congrats on that. Um, and that's the reason we're here. But, you know, this morning we went, on, we went on a duck hunt too. So we're filming all week. Well, basically it's only today because tomorrow <laughs> you guys can't hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Which I had no idea. Yeah. Which really, which really – shrinks our scope of yeah. you know yeah. what, what we're trying to get done but that's all right so talk to me about where we were at today not a fish like doesn't have to be yeah, specifically no. <laughs> we <but> don't care <laughs> where we were at and then uh, I do. it's, oh. it's kind of cool too <laughs> i'm sure somebody should he gets you had just yeah i'm well. the one who found it yeah. <laughs> um i'm also interested off that with like the penn state exempt land which i think is really like pretty unique like very cool that you guys can hunt on the college's land which i think is crazy and super cool but let's start with the hunt itself like where are we at and then just give me anybody yeah uh, so quick thoughts on it today so I, we were we were scouting all over the place last couple of days um this is the law of pennsylvania hunting mm-hmm. yep. especially in center uh center county middle of the state because we don't really get a huge push of birds especially when the weather's been like 50s and 60s with no real wind so all the birds we were hunting today have been shot at all week basically like first day we we lit them up. It was, it was a pretty good shoot. We had a six man of wood ducks. Uh, first Monday, uh, we shot another big group of wood ducks and a teal. So I just I knew it was gonna be kind of hard finding birds. He was driving everywhere. <laughs> I went through a tank and a half of gas oh, trying yeah. to find birds. Two tanks. <laughs> um, so it was a so it was a pain. But like we the last hole I went to actually was the one we hunted today. So I'm going everywhere, going everywhere, and. My buddy Taylor, Taylor Bone, shout out him. He, shout out Taylor. He has he gave me <laughs> shout his, out Taylor. his whole wherever you're at. His whole on X. He's in Colorado right now, Duck cool. Hunt. It's their first cool. day, but his whole on X map looks like a rainbow with all the different colored pins <laughs> yeah. on it. So he he was sending me a lot too. And um I was checking this pond out we him and I hunted last year. 
And I was like, there's probably not going to be anything on here. I go, and there's probably like 10, 15 uh, teal, couple wood duck. And I'm like, that's quadruple everything else I've seen all week. Mm -hmm. Like the best, next best thing was three wood ducks on a pond a mile and a half back in the woods. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this is our best shot. Might as well. But uh, we, their birds were there. We saw, uh, we saw probably like 35 wood ducks at least either land in our swamp or near it. Over, yeah. yeah, another couple big groups of teal, a couple single teal, uh, two pairs of mallards. But we were just in the right church, wrong pew. I mean, they were. You've said that a lot today. I, I told I've him loved that. it every single yeah. time. Yeah, I told I him that. He I've said loved it. it every time. He, we were talking to the guys outside. <clears throat> yeah. Just and he said it probably four times. I told him that. He goes, I know. I don't even care. I know. It's just, <laughs> it's I can't stop thinking crushes. about I'm it. Because, it like, if right I, I'm church, like, wrong pew. I literally we were right like 70 more yards, and we probably have a three man of wood ducks, pair of mallards, and a couple big groups we of teal. We have one heck of a shoot of a mixed bag for hunting the second. Yeah. Second. Second. But we, st we still were able to get into them a little bit. It's hard too. Like, we were talking today, you know, all the ducks, like you said, they go to the parks or they go to the reservations. Yeah. And they'll sit there all year. I know you were talking about oh, that. Oh, yeah. So for us, when we were hunting around here, you said it when we were out there in the morning, two of them fly in and you get all jittery. Yeah. So you, you don't wait as long as you should, you know. You shoot too soon. They fly off. You're screwed from there. So mm -hmm. it's hard when you don't – they're not – the volume isn't there. And when you get your chance, like, he's always standing. He always gets up, does something when they fly. Mm -hmm. You're always not ready for it because you don't get that volume. So that's, that's a challenge in itself, too. You know, you get one chance, and if you mess it up, then that's pretty much it, really, for the day. Mm -hmm. And PA is very interesting. I know growing up here in duck hunting, like, you drive by, by a pond, you see four ducks on it. Like, you're calling your buddy. You're feeling like, good about you're it. You're like, yeah. oh, we're going to go. Like, let's do this. And uh, like Sean said, like, we, we broke up the scouting for trying to, uh, trying to find spots to hunt this morning. And uh, Sean was mostly on public, and I drove around trying to get private ponds because, like Sean said, everything kind of got shot up on the the first day last week so then that's where i was just thinking well here we go go to private <laughs> you know uh probably asked like 13 to 16 different places um and just a lot of no's a lot of no's the one place that i drove you guys past uh mm -hmm. scouted it actually it was yesterday afternoon it was corked i mean w drove past it and there were 65 mallards on it um, all the full, full plume, uh, green heads and, and, um, some Susie's were on it and, uh, went to the house and lady was all into it. And then, uh, husband just said oh. no, cause they had kids. So it had been an awesome shoot. It's usually the um, other way around. Actually. I know, yeah. right. Yeah. I know she was awesome. She was all into <clears throat> it. She actually wants me to come back. And I was like, man, I was like, we'd like to do it this weekend, but you know, would have helped us. I know sure. it'd have been, yeah. it'd have been a cool video. It would have like, been cool. The layout, it's... the layout would have been awesome. It would have been literally prime time duck hunting and really kind of showcased like what is a once a once a, a season hunt actually. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it's it's just a different game. Uh, I mean, a lot of people probably um, have that when they go and ask permission. Like I had a dude answer the door yesterday in his underwear. <laughs> he came in his underwear and answered the door, and he's actually mad that I drove up his driveway. Oh yeah, he I mean he's coming in his underwear. He was mad I drove up in his driveway and asked how I got his information. I was like, oh, well, your stuff's public, buddy. Yeah, and uh, was like, yeah, I don't think that's cool that you're driving up people's driveway. And I was like, well, what do you want us to do? Hunt Put your some pants hunt, on, maybe. Hunt your pond in the morning, <laughs> yeah. and, and then before we ask for permission. So it it's just hard around around here, and um, that's why we kind of resorted to to public and public is how it is around here it just gets shot up so i mean we had guys shooting behind us um this morning and we had yeah. a guy trying to come in yeah. <laughs> this morning <laughs> i was shocked yeah literally pulled into thank god the, we got there early yeah, yeah. Pulled that's into another thing too like <clears throat> i've from my experience hunting around here i feel like ducks are probably the hardest thing in my opinion because you know like waterfall wise and bird wise because i know we've done a lot of dove hunts on like you said that penn state has a lot of property and we smoke. And the pheasants, too. Yeah. yeah. Pheasants. yeah they I mean, we smoke the doves. We got, what, 100 and something? 122. 122, like, opening day. We had a bunch of guys go out. So we smoke the doves and the pheasant. The pheasant around here is awesome. You know, the game's, game warden stocks them, game commission. So I would just think the ducks is just hard, like everything we talked about. But the doves and the, the pheasant, if you're really into that. There's good wing shoot. Oh, yeah, that's, people, it's money just, around here. People go, cr I don't know what it is, but people go crazy for ducks and they'll almost like do anything for ducks. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I like, 
Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, we all do, which is true. That's why we're here. I mean, but like we're going in the spot, and the guy's like, "Well, where are you guys hunting?" We're like, "You clearly saw there's like six guys here." And you're trying to ask where to hunt. I was right. like, well, it's, it is what it's it is. The way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, yeah, but it's just, it's an interesting game here. Because, um, one, obviously we can't hunt on Sundays. And, and two, it's that we don't have, like, walk-on pieces and everything's posted. We're not, like, uh, in, like, the Dakotas where it's, you, you can walk <laughs> on pieces that don't don't have posted signs. Mm -hmm. That would be crazy. It, it, that, would, that would actually be crazy. It would uh, change the game. It would, yeah. it would yeah. yeah, it would be insane if it was... Uh, walk on no posted signs but yeah is what it is it's a lot of fun i mean growing up doing it it's you have a ball whether you shoot a duck or no ducks you're with the guys having a blast hanging out right um yeah just yeah i think i think one thing that's interesting about here and anywhere else that can be difficult duck hunting too like central pa is and, and whatever is you guys do learn a lot because your your opportunities are so limited it's like i heard you say today like we move too much that's a thought that a lot of hunters don't necessarily doesn't come to them very quickly because like they're getting so many opportunities that it's like that group just didn't do it, you know? So it's, there's pros and cons. I mean, it's, it sucks that like it can be tough, but like it, for wherever you guys end up as far as water fouling or any sort of hunting, like you'll come to appreciate that's so opportunities. True. Yeah. Like if you get yourself in a position oh, yeah. where there is opportunities, yeah. you're going to be like, this is crazy. I like, have friends yeah. from like some other schools, like Southern schools and whatever. And they talk to me about like their duck hunting and stuff down there. And they, they, I tell them my experiences and it's nothing the same. Yeah. There's, they're moving around, they're doing whatever, just oh, hanging yeah. out. And it's easy for them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's so true. Cause you mm -hmm. learn so much. Like, I got your, any little thing goes wrong and you just, try you to said learn it as multiple times today. Yeah. You're like, we're not pushed back enough. We're moving too much. Yeah. We went just a second early. And mm -hmm. for you guys, it's like, we got one or two volleys today that have to work. That's it. Yeah. Guys we we only had one volley, yeah. yeah we had one that, volley. that group of wood ducks. You know? Everything else was the single and we couple shot too teal soon on him because we were yeah. dude, we were we were amped up to get some. And then right. of course I bend over to go back to the boat to grab like put on another hoodie or no take off a hoodie and two freaking mallards come right over where I'm standing mm -hmm. and then this morning, you know how wood ducks are just buzzing. So I turn my head out I'm like, oh my gosh, right to the right of me. So it's just right church wrong pew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there, we go. there you go. It's See, it, it works word every word time. He's gonna be saying that one for like but, um, the rest of the season. I'm carrying that back to me now. For <laughs> sure. Yeah, that and the moped. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I mean, I was I was actually kind of happy with how much shooting we did. I was shocked actually I, how I was, many wood ducks I, dude, we I did mean, see. That was not a bad hunt. Like, we were in the game, and that's all you can really ask. Like, when for, I went over to know? go see where those mallards were, and, like, 12 wood ducks jumped that just, I guess, came in out of nowhere from behind us, I was just shocked. I was like, right church, wrong pew, you know? It's just, <laughs> and, and it's crazy, because, like, we had no idea we were there. Like, it was just, I knew three of them were there yeah. somewhere, but I don't know where the other ones could even came from. And mm -hmm. even, like, the teal that were already on the pond, we don't know where they came out of, when they landed there. Like, Plus, too, I feel like the place, the spots that we're hunting at... <clears throat> Like, there's never, it's never, like, like a good, you're never in a good situation. No. It's always, you're in thick wooded cover, you know, like how we were today. You're freezing and, and you know, there's no room. It's all, everything's everywhere. People left, right, and center. Like, there's never a good, you never really have, like, a good shooting area, shooting zone. It's always, like, conky wampus. There's stuff all over the place. <laughs> so, like, birds will fly in, like, far away, like that teal today that kept diving down on the water. Right. Like, it's so hard. you got to track this bird, then you'll see... Lily All these other things coming around, yeah. and you yeah, can't Lily, swing here, yeah. you can't swing there, and then you didn't even know those birds were over there. They could have landed 20 minutes ago, and you never would have known because right. every situation you're in is just it's just so tough right. to get around it. It's, no, and that's, it's that's so, true too. It's so interesting in PA. It's never the spots that are easy that have uh, like ducks and geese that you get mm -hmm. permission or you can hunt. Mm -hmm. It's always the spots that there's like. You can't shoot here. You can't shoot there. You got to be. There's a safety zone yeah, this way. Yeah, there's a safety way. zone this yeah. way. You got to be 150 yards well, from this Well, that was even like the thing today that it, the pond that we couldn't hunt, but we, it's yeah. like there's properties yeah. around, there's buildings. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're shooting right like, there. If we like, if we'd have we got, got one yeah. lane. If we would have yeah. got permission on that pond that I showed you guys, we'd have to sh sat in one spot. It's I'd mapped it. It was 32, 35 yards from the road. It would be 25 from the road, and it was like 151 from the house mm -hmm. and and i think it's if you have permission from the house you're allowed yeah, to be you're, you're allowed to be good and then every other house was enough 
and then you it, just gotta watch for your BBs because your BBs fall in the safety yeah. zone, and then you're chalked. Yeah, so just like so, so it was literally the shooting hole was that. So yeah, that's I mean, what it looked like. It, it, it would have be. been it would have been fire, but it's just like it's those spots that that are just in, in PA that it's never like it's never like oh man, I can shoot any direction all the time. It's like, not like you see on TV. Yeah, no. And it's unfortunate too because. <clears throat> you want to bring your buddies too. Oh, that's yeah. But some of these spots, like you're saying, it's, it's like a one, two, said, three person spot. Not right. Two, and so two, it's hard. If you have some friends that are like wanting to, you know, they're hunters, but yeah. let's say they don't never duck hunt or they want to get into it. You can't even really bring them. Yeah. Because first of all, they're, you know, if they sky blast or whatever, then you miss your chance. <laughs> and number two, like you said, there's, there's no room really. Yeah. Because it's a limited space in that little tiny spot. So. That was even today. I mean, it was kind of crammed. Like, are you guys on the edge there? Yeah. And, yeah. But. I mean, even, like, another thing, too, we're forgetting is we've hunted, like, the spots we've hunted so far this year, they're, like, one-man holes. They're, like, yeah. little potholes, little swamps. Like, you can't put Two another max. group of guys there. Right. Like, back home when I'm hunting, like, um, like Pine Matuming Lake or, like, Geneva, these, like, huge swamps, you'll have guys coming and cut you off mm -hmm. or, like, shoot your swing birds or something like that, and that, like, drives me up a wall. Mm -hmm. So, like, I will go out of my way to be in, a, like, a lesser spot just to make sure, like, there's no one else around You know me. you're hunting your yes. birds. Yeah. No, I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, that's one of the biggest things that, I don't know, like, the, what, how do you fix it? I don't know if you fix it. You want everyone to have an opportunity, but, as you know, etiquette and waterfowling hmm. is huge, you yeah. know, it's for, for everyone to have a good experience. But um, there's yeah. also, too, like, <clears throat> you know, all the things talking about, like, hunting conservation and like you know limiting stuff and whatever I mean, pia has one of the highest hunting you know hunters per per county and per you know capita yeah out of almost any other out of any other state mm -hmm. so you got to have that which i'm really i mean not shocked by but like that's a kind of yeah. a crazy number yeah, yeah. You know so there's I mean? all those problems too on top of all the issues we've just been talking right. about yeah. so when you so, think about certain states where it's like that's an outdoors like yeah everybody right. there has to hunt you yeah. would mm -hmm. think and then Pennsylvania, I think, kind of gets lost in the mix of like this weird. It's kind of northeastern, so and there's kind of like because Philly, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, and people kind of just assume it's like no. I mean, this is a very rural state. I, we were blown away driving in for yeah. sure, just with how mountainous it is and and how much opportunity there is to to be in the outdoors. Yeah, I That's mean, like I was New saying York earlier too. too, like in Pittsburgh, you could shoot like monster monster bucks, like drop <laughs> tines in the city of Pittsburgh. Well, like mm -hmm. last year, so that like girl, it's crazy. A, a girl shot like what was it 180 190 in in pittsburgh and it was like her first buck ever so it's like we have those like we have the caliber of not just like deer we have ducks in some parts of the state that are like insane mm -hmm. um it's just a matter of finding them like you get in any of the cities you can hunt them you just gotta find the spot to uh -huh. hunt them that's one legal and 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 important and and, and yeah like, that was uh, an important caveat you just threw. Yeah, out. yeah, I appreciate yeah. You doing that. Yeah, like you gotta have the right, you know. Yeah. What's the saying again? Uh, you dot your eyes time. and cross your T's. Ah, the church. Well, this time oh, we no. this would be right the, church, right yeah. pew. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right church, when, when right you get pew. it together. Right. Yeah. Like, like, like we said. Um, <coughs> I mean, scouting, like, and, and asking permission, like with the guy that was mad at me for asking. Mm -hmm. Like the amount of people that I've ran into that are mad that you asked. I'm like, I, I don't understand that that concept of why are you mad. That somebody's asking to do something that is legal on your property. And, like, I get you might not like it, but at least I'm not one of those people that's poaching or going on your property without without permission. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll always get permission, uh, but and I'm not going to come on your property if I don't have it. But then some people get mad about it. Mm -hmm. And one of the places that, I mean, I texted Sean, which was funny. Sean and I, when we started scouting, we both he sent me a pin, and I've literally been driving past this place for, for months, for months. And I always would see ducks there. And uh, it is like a, it's like a Penn State farm, and nobody lives there. It's abandoned. Um, and I found out that it's a farm. It's it's farmed by a guy, um, but the guy that owns it's like a, a real estate like crazy investor uh, that doesn't even live around here. Doesn't live on the property. Doesn't use the farm. He just gives it to the the guy that farms it for cattle. We could have went on there this morning, sat on the pond, shot. Nine mallards, ten mallards, and a bunch of teal that were on the pond. But what's the what's the point of doing that if it's not legal and you don't have the permission? So, mm -hmm. um, it's just it, it's a game of of being in the right spot, doing it legally, doing it the right way, doing it the smart and safe way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the most rewarding way. I mean, it's it should be the only way. Yeah, 
but a, 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 apart from that, it's 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 the most rewarding for sure. Yeah. So the only last thing I wanted to hit on about the hunt this morning was the face paint. <laughs> you rolled face paint. Yeah. You went duck commander. Yep. Phil Robertson. Put face paint on all over. Not yeah. even, I told wasn't... Sean to pick me up some face paint. Yeah. He's like, yeah, sure, gotcha. So then <clears throat> woke up in the morning. Look at this thing. It says cream, cream paint. <laughs> What the heck is this? Yeah. It's like, I don't know, man. It's all we had. <laughs> like, all right. So, you know, put thing on my face. Had it on all day. Then we went to uh, went to Waffle Shop. Oh, yeah. Got some, good br- got some good brunch there. The brunch was good. Had yeah, it on my face the whole time. Everyone was looking at me, coming up to me. You did have a, a gentleman come up and... Yeah. He thought you were crazy. What did he ask you? Are you he said, you know, you got dirt in your face, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Then he started talking to us about hunting He thought that was a good joke. Yeah. He, he, yeah, yeah. He, he felt good about he it. He got it going out of that. Yeah. That's some lady, last. some server there asked me, said, you know, you got something on your face, right? Yeah, yeah. Said, yeah. Then yeah, I tried like to take it off, but I still rig. got some on. <laughs> he did kind of look like he was Yeah, you got that nice right. jawline. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you look good. <laughs> yeah, you thanks. Good. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. I, I want to do a little something here off of talking about the hunt this morning. What would be your guys' dream, dream hunt? Let's, is it waterfowl or would it be something different? Sean, you can start it. No, no, no. You want me to go? Yeah, yeah you can. I like. That. I will say this though. <clears throat> that's a first of all. That's a loaded question. And if it, it is a loaded question, that's a lot. If, if a it's not, I, got, I need. I need an answer. Do you so want us mine, to keep it waterfowl, or mine, do you want? What do you think, producer Sam? Man. Keep it waterfowl, or get it or wide open. Let's start waterfowl. Okay. Waterfowl. I would say honestly, opening day we had recently. That was an awesome wow. day. Wow. Wow, so you've lived it. But I would say, but what no, a I would say answer. the only thing that I would change with that is the only thing I would change with that ducks. is my <laughs> <laughs> only three were in. I love that. He's three. Like, Dude, I've had it. You, the I've best. Had it. I don't care like what you know, what bird it is or whatever it is. As long as I'm with like my good buddies, you're and we're, awesome, and we're just having a good time. Yeah, you're an incredible I mean, person. Honestly, the birds having the birds is the extra part, you know. Mm-hmm. But that's I mean, that's a that's beautiful all I, answer. He's that, laughing over there. That is a fun beautiful me, answer, yeah. man. No, that's honest. That's upset New York honest. That is, that is awesome. It's like anything else, you know? It's fun by yourself, but you know, yeah. when you have your good friends and you're making, like today, you're in cracking but jokes, like, that's moped like, jokes and stuff. That's, that's like the, that's best, the best thing time. about about waterfowl hunting, yeah. in my opinion. Is the talk, I love, I love yeah. the deer hunt. love the turkey hunt. Love, I love to hunt anything. And I feel duck hunting is one of the only, only, pl- only things you can hunt that you can be with your buddies, you mm-hmm. can talk. Yeah, you can cook a whole meal before you hunt yeah. while you hunt mm-hmm. and, and still and hunt and, and have a good time. So it's like it's I feel for me like it, duck hunting is also as much of a social aspect, uh, the hanging out with my buddies to getting away from school or getting away from everything that's going on, going being out in a, a awesome 30 degree morning, like frost on the ground, maybe a little bit of snow mm-hmm. uh, like and, and just it's just awesome. But uh I guess if he lived his dream of duck so hunting. That wasn't my full one. <laughs> uh, all right, go ahead. Oh, opening day with buddies. Just, just whatever it is. As long as I'm like, oh, that opening day was awesome. I mean, it is we, awesome. We no, went it down is awesome there. Op- right. op- something about opening day is like you, you waited the whole time for it to, you know, you go through the whole season, done. And you look back thinking what you could have done better and, you know, how successful you were and this, that, and the other. And then you wait the whole time for it to open again. And you're so jacked up. I remember. I so much them, anticipation. So much. You're so jacked up. I couldn't sleep at all. Yeah, like, we, we probably, left at what? Like 1.30? Yeah, we probably got 30 minutes of sleep. <laughs> like, I'll, yeah. I'll walk in his room and be like, I can't sleep. He's like, me either. He's like, all right, let's go. Yeah. So we just go out there. I mean, we're there early. And um, we're out there early, hanging out and whatever. And kind of lost my train of thought there with that. But yeah. Uh, but you're out there early and it all worked out. And that's, yeah, that's it all your worked dream out. And it's the opening day and crushed them. Everyone got their limit. Had fun. I love that. I love that. Let's go here. Dream waterfowl hunt. That's tough. Are you um, guys all going to be incredibly long-winded and heartfelt? Yeah. Probably this is, not. This is meant to be like a, like Sean, a rapid Sean, fire. Sean, no, no, Sean. Well, like, straight answers, see, this man. is the problem for me is co- last yeah, year well, I had... You're Chatty Cathy. I had, I, yeah, that's true. I love <laughs> It's a yapaholic. <laughs> I had the probably the best hunt of my life last year, me and my buddies. So last year, it literally flooded at the perfect... It was a, the perfect storm of a late-season flood. And we went down to a property, and we shot like seven, eight different species of, of ducks and in or PA? a waterfowl. And it was it's it's thirty minutes from PA. We were in Maryland. Okay. Um, we shot forty or fifty waterfowl all together. Fifty. It was like nine 50 birds, nine geese, fifty birds, nine geese, eight different species: gaddies, pintails, mallards, black ducks, 
Uh, we shot a blue and green wing teal. We literally shot everything. Mm -hmm. uh, perfect morning, overcast, fog, ducks were doing it in her face. Literally shot a mallard, and it came in and smacked my buddy's gun barrel. <laughs> like, all, like, it was sick. Yeah. But uh, I think when it comes to perfect hunt, I love the videos. Dream hunt, dream hunt. Dream hunt, dream hunt would be like out west hunting one of those like Ooh. hot water sloughs mm -hmm. with your buddies in the snow. Yeah. I would love to be sitting there with my buddies in a slough and an A-frame uh, with steam and snow and just having them do it dirty. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that would be my dream. I think I love hunting with the snow. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of fun seeing ducks work in the snow. It's I think it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Seeing them fully plumed out, just I love that. So that mm -hmm. would be mine. Love it. Okay, so... Um, oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, to go off, like... So, like, I, I was able to go hunting in Oregon, and that was, like, the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I was talking to you about it earlier Yeah, we today, spoke about this. And it was awesome. I shot <clears throat> species that you can't even see here, really, like widgeon, gad... I mean, we get gadwell, but, like, widgeon, ringnecks. It was awesome. But... And then I came back that weekend, and it was the last day of the season in PA, and I ended up shooting like two mallards at the last light two drake mallard just called him in on the stream and i was so jacked about that <laughs> that i was like this is awesome like i totally forgot that i just shot like four pintails in oregon sure and you don't even see those here um so I, like i think just hunting with low expectations and just smoking them is awesome mm -hmm. but in reality i'd really like to go to like argentina and shoot ducks nice. um, yeah. a bow hunt leaving elk. the country That's here we go yeah, bow hunt elk in uh out west would be awesome because they're just big turkeys and i love turkeys so that'd be awesome so yeah i'd say like argentina mexico for some waterfowl or maybe an elk hunt out west love it love it off this off this game off that we're gonna play a game now it's called this or that oh, okay Lord. oh yeah so i'm gonna ask you a question you pick this or that <laughs> Pretty just like I love how much you guys want to talk about your buddies and stuff, but this is kind of like rapid fire. All right, rapid All right. fire. We'll hit, so we'll do it. I mean, is this gonna be hard for you guys? No, it's man. Not. no I yeah, love man, it. Man. I love it. I love it. So this or that, we're gonna start here. No, we're gonna start with you this time. Okay. You come down, and then the next four questions. Question one is snake draft. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Fancy gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Starting down this way, sir. Ducks or geese? Oh, ducks. 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 Okay. Starting with you now. Duck hunt in the Arkansas timber or up to Canada? Canada. Canada. Timber. Oh, see, we got a little discourse. Really? I like that. We'll circle back on that. Okay, limits or a single band? <laughs> well, what's in the limit? Lim rapid fire. Go. Limits. Rapid, come on. Limits. No like you you and your buddies, question. and it's, yeah. it's straps. Rapid fire. Limit. Limit. <laughs> limit. 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 Nice. Got, wow, I'm impressed by that. Okay. Now, this is a big one. Penn State. This is for Penn State. One football national championship, but you never win another one in any other sport. Would you take it or no. not? No. In any other sport? What other sport do you care about here? I'm saying, like, wrestling, you guys are dominant. Like, no. anything else for the rest uh, of time, it's like you win uh, one in does football. Does that go to, like, Nation, but yeah. everything else you never Steelers win? Steelers and Pirates and Penguins. No, I'm Steelers talking Penn State. State. I'm talking Penn State. Is it like, do we can, can we like win a couple national championships? No, or I'm won? talking a single nah. football national nah. championship in your life. Nah. But Penn State and other sports, they never get there. Yeah, again. no, I'm, I'm going to say no. Yeah, Sorry. me too. I no. don't really care that much about football. No, no, no. No. Three no's. Nice. We are. No, big time Penn, Penn, State, Penn State, baby. Penn State. Nice. Okay. I love it. The wrestling's, but, the wrestling matches are awesome. And not, not the wrestling lie, matches are sick. Our yeah, hockey just, matches are fun. Oh, our hockey, yeah. yeah. Hockey's fun. Hockey sick Dollar too, dog hockey. night at baseball. Yeah. <laughs> Volleyball games are elite. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be bad at everything for no. one. No. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to lie. If, an, if we won a natty at Penn State, it would be crazy. we're getting turned up for a whole Yeah, week. but we haven't won one in forever. Or not forever. I mean. How, so long, how long has it been? 83. They were wearing That's leather, they were wearing leather right? helmets. You don't, look still, you don't have to win one to still be a popular Was it 83? That's, well, that's, and that's, I mean? and that's so my question like, because some, I mean, you'll run into guys who are like, I'd give anything for our school to win. Yeah, I don't care about football that much. But I think you guys are a really well-rounded sports program. Yeah, oh, like, we. Very well-rounded. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you about go to any sport and be like, we should be competitive. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we are. I know field hockey is really good. I've never been to the game. Our soccer is good. Is good. Our yeah, our soccer is actually 10. good. I think yeah. we were fresh. I learned this when they put it at the board at the football <laughs> games. They tell you like, oh, we won this. Somewhere. All the other sports yeah. come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd be, I would actually kind of be mad about that if I was one of the other sports and I'm coming out of a <laughs> yeah. football game. I'm like, wow, I can't be recognized mm -hmm. on my own sport. I got 
to come to a football game. Yeah, <laughs> Ticket recognized sure. by 110,000 fans. I love that. I love that. I thought that was a good little segment, guys. Um, I think we're kind of coming to the end of it, it feels like. Um, I guess just want to end with this. we got an evening hunt we're about to go on. Expectations are, are fairly low. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're they're <laughs> so, so like yeah. they are yeah. like um like one thirty at the bar and you had a lot to drink. That's where your expectations are right wow. now. Wow. Yeah, like, it's thanks. Listen, I think that paints a pretty clear picture. Yeah. Listen, yeah. It's, there's the lights that, are gonna though. turn <laughs> on in a up. little bit. That doesn't yeah. mean you're completely down. No, no, right. no. Listen, we're here. It's gonna be last light. It's last call, last light. But that doesn't mean you can't get one more. Ten show. minutes. No. Ten, no. Minute, ten minutes left. Woody's gonna come in. Female. Susie Slayer, Duster. Yep. If we get one, that's duck, the prediction. Listen, if we no, get, we're gonna get three mallards come in, oh, do no, it dirty, I, and we're that, gonna miss listen, all three. I was just predicting a low for that one. We limit out, you know. <laughs> oh, that'd be insane. That'd be insane. But no, it's. Uh, I'm only bringing six that's shells. Right, but here's the deal. Bring a one <laughs> next weekend. <laughs> pheasant. Yeah. For you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So things are looking. This goose. Co- when does oh, goose way come up. back in? Things are looking. I, mean, I won't hunt geese till after Thanksgiving. And deer season's about to turn up. Not gonna lie. Oh, you were saying earlier about the rut. I, I shot my buck last year chasing a doe on the second Saturday at gun season. Well, I'll, I'll just tell you, yes. I had this to shoot morning, him three times this in the, morning, the heart and chest. We I blew his shoulder on everything. You wrapping this up. You guys uh, well, here we go. I love a little. This morning, we woke up to go hunting at that 3.30. My monster buck in New York just bing. So camp. So hopefully he'll be done. He's going to buy a car. <laughs> huh? He's going to get by a car. No, he's yeah. not. He's in the mountains, bro. He's a mile deep. He's going to live. For now. For, For now. now. For now. now All right. Hey. That was the Campus Waterfowl Podcast. Thank you to you gentlemen. Your hospitality has been absolutely appreciated. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. This is a lot of fun. Uh, Yeah, it's been a blast. Hopefully, you're going to get out this evening and shoot a few ducks and at least hang out and (laughs) see the sunset. Shoot a duck. Uh, (laughs) Emphasis on a duck. This is an awesome experience that you guys got to come down. and. uh, It's been sick, man. It's been sick. State College has been really cool. We enjoyed the uh, the tour today. Brunch was good, and, and we can't wait for the rest of it. So. Thank you again to our sponsors, Kent and Spondu Firearms. I'm Kyle Barnes. These are the boys from Penn State. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.